We're going to be taking a 22 foot single engine boat 80 miles out into the Gulf of Mexico today looking for giant yellowfin tuna. Let's get the boat in the water and see what the day gives us. Woo! Yep, big tuna. Big, 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 big. Yo, that's. Oh! Yes! Yes, yes please! That was huge, Blaine! Oh my god! What is going on, Coastal Worldwide? Guys, welcome home. We are 90 miles offshore out of Fort Morgan Pass, and we're in Tuna Town, baby. The fleet is all around us. There are tons of boats out here, some working birds, and we have yet to see what we're looking for, which is monster yellowfin tuna. We've got the poppers, the stick baits, the swim baits, and the JYG jigs right here. So, however, we can put a monster tuna in this 22 foot boat. We're gonna try and do it. Let's go. Woo! Sheep, 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 sheep. It doesn't seem very big, but where are we at? Yeah. Yeah, probably just in case. I right, start driving us forward and to the right a little bit because he's starting to like move. Yeah, yeah baby. Let's go. Really Go ahead and get that gaff out, Blaine. Oh, sorry, keep driving. Sorry, drive forward and right again. He's coming behind the boat. You good? You good? All right, y'all. Not not 30 minutes of being out here, looking for some marks. I threw the swim bait down, man. I was working that swim bait back. We're tight, baby. We're tight. Oh, oh crap, dude. That was a giant. Yeah, you're hooked up to the yellow. Okay. So straighten out now, just keep driving though. Keep us at the same speed. Do we have the blue thing? Uh, somewhere. I don't think it fits on our... I have a mini belt. Do you want a mini belt? Yeah, probably. I've got the good for him. Like yeah, yeah, you're doing good. You guys do? Yeah, yeah, please. That was a monster fish that just blew up right there, too. Let's go. <gasps> 340. That's your fish. Keep turning. Let's get ready to go to the front. Do it kind of hard. No, I feel like that's a tuna. Do it kind of hard. Now straighten out and keep going, keep going. Don't let off the gas. Get this fish away from us. I gotta change angle or my back's gonna die. Way off. Feel that, right? 
Harder, Blaine. Harder. A lot harder. Good. Feel good. There it is. Holy. What is it? What is it? What is it? It's a yellow. It's a yellow. Pretty sure. Ninety percent. It feels good. Okay, go and go neutral for a second. Neutral? Yeah. Let's get, let's get that gaff ready. Gaff ready. It looked like a yellow fin. Flood and the some here. Okay. Get a swing. Hold on, don't, don't move. Yeah, I'm not. I was just telling you to get ready to swing around. That's yellow. Big circles, dude. Those circles are huge. <laughs> Yep, big tuna. Big, 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 big. Let's go. The sickles are big. Just let me know. Hey, Jake, you over here? You want me to try to back off of them? No. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm here, I'm here. All right. Watch out, Don. Watch out. Yep. I got him. Second gap. Second gap. Now. Second gap. Now. Here. Um, got it. In the head. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you very freaking much, Blaine. Huh. Boys, nice elephant tuna. What we came for? Easy on the thing there. Watch the next rod. Okay. Uh, oh. Woo! Boys, we did it, baby. That's a proper fish. A that is a proper, 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 proper fish. That's the biggest yellowfin to hit the sea pro, baby. Biggest yellowfin to hit the freaking sea pro. Oh, man. I tell y'all, I would be way more excited right now if I didn't think my lower back was about to fall off. But I cannot thank the guys behind me enough, man. 
It's early in the morning. We just stuck our first yellowfin 60 pound fluorocarbon on the swim bait. Let's freaking go. 14,000 saltiga and that tight line braid 50. 50 pound tight line braid smoking a big yellowfin. Woo! Woo! That's trying to tangle, baby. Right here in the Sea Pro, baby. 22 foot single engine chasing monster fish. We maximize what we can do because we don't have a big nice boat, but hey, we made it out here to Tuna Town, USA. We got one monster, let's go get some more, baby. Come on! Alrighty, so after that yellowfin tune, I kind of wanted to walk you guys through the gear I was using there. I just put on a new leader. It's always a good idea to change the leader after you put a lot, a lot of pressure. Uh, I was using a Saltiga 14,000 Tightline Braid 50 pound eight strand. So 50 pound braid, eight strand, tight line braid made right here in the United States. I've got a Yamaga Blue Sniper. It's an 816 series. So it's a little bit lighter, but it's nice for throwing those, you know, two ounce swim baits like I was just doing. Um, I do an FG knot right here and I had 60 pound fluoro on that specific setup. So a little bit lighter than I would have liked, but she got the job done. Dom's on, Dom's on, Dom's on, we beat him. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. You out, you out, you out. All right, y'all, I was just retying. I just didn't even get the lure tied back on my rod. Dom on the Ocean Jigger 4K, tight line braid 100, man. That's a bean layer right there, and it's the JYG 240. We just talked to you guys yeah. about it. Is it the semi blade that's tied on? It's a strike, it's strike. a strike uh, sand eel. Strike sand eel. He's coming underneath the boat, keep spinning. Hit it hard, hit it hard. Dom, if you need to come up front, let me know. Pop it real quick, pull him up. That JYG sand eel. There we Strike go. 240, baby. All right, pop it out. Let's do it again, baby. It seems like we're hooking a lot of these fish deep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this RYP, the JYG RYP 50. We changed out BKK hooks, really kind of big for this lure, but we'll be just fine. 60 pound fluorocarbon. I'm going to tie this 50 gram RYP on here. See if we can hook up. We're tied again on the middle. Oh yeah, he said. Oh yeah, he said. It's the JYG jig, man. The strike 240. Very nice. Not a bad mixed bag, my boys. There we go. That hook does not mess around. Two blackfin equal one yellowfin, right? Four blackfin. Check out what this blackfin managed to do. To do? What? What is even that? How do you? <laughs> he gets it on the drop. He goes. On oh my circle. gosh! He goes through the hole. <laughs> Can you use it? Am I gonna just yeah, cut? Yeah, for sure. Everybody just start throwing. Yo, that's oh. <gasps> Yes! Yes, Blaine! Dom, double! Keep working, Dom. Keep working, Dom. Bring it all the way in if you can, because his is huge. Yeah. I'm, I'm, that was huge, Blaine! I'm, oh my god. Yo, we stopped for a get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Okay. Talk to me. Just keep me in the loop of what's going on. He's he's Okay, you like the angle? Are you right now, yeah. I, I just I pulled mine on purpose. <laughs> Yeah, like I literally just started ripping it to try to get it out of the okay. right now. Do you like it? Yeah. Okay. That's just up. in reverse, I'm trying to get the deck organized a little bit here. I'm gonna flood this back deck, so just talk to me. That's okay. It's it's right. Keep going. Where? All right, so first goal, guys, is to get away from this fish. I want Blaine at a 45 degree angle. All right, Blaine, come sit with me. Come sit with me. Because what I want to do is I actually want to drive. I want to drive forward. Okay. Just hold on. You got him? You good? I'm going to drive away from this fish like this. You good there? Just keep me really in the loop. Turning. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. I will eventually get over the top of him. 
It's not going to be too much pressure. The drag is set. <laughs> I just don't want to be under the boat. We're not, we're not going to run into it. There we go. Yo, that heat was sick, dude. Absolutely. That see was sick. All right, guys. We were just finishing up some lunch, and I tell you what, man. Those tuna started blowing up around the boat. We saw two blow-ups really quick succession. Literally in the middle of lunch. Sorry, Blake. That blow-up was freaking sick. I... Absolutely insane. Dude, so keep uh, keep breathing the best you can. I need I need a different angle on this fish. We're like straight up and down with them now. Okay, you want to back off a couple clicks and let me drive? That's that sucks. Hold on. The amount of times that Blaine and I have talked about this situation in the backyard of our house, on the Sea Pro, on the trailer, in the yard. So this is what I want. I want him at a more of a 45 degree angle. It takes a lot of pressure off his lower back. I'm able to gain here too. Keep going, keep going. Okay. Just maybe. And we don't have a ton of people in the fleet around us, so. The problem is, is with this boat, we will continue to pull the fish to the boat. You know? I know. Just grab, someone grab me the harness. I just want to try it. Okay. Um, you want me to grab it? Yeah, you need to grab it, Don. Okay. 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 Feel better there. Yeah. How's this? How is this for the bike? This is great. A lot better. This is phenomenal. Good. Okay. Pick up a little bit. Yep. Yeah. on Instagram and he's been very helpful so far. If y'all want to see some truly epic popping, jigging, stick baiting, go check out Salty Water Tackle on YouTube. I mean, big these, thanks to us too. Yeah. These, these guys are, are top tier and they've definitely helped us out a lot in choice of tackle, fighting tactics, everything. Okay, what worries me now is the angle of this fish and those Yeah. I think he's still, I think he's still coming though. Yeah. Probably slow down a little bit. Yo, when those fish roll through, oh, yeah. that was insane. That's good right there. That's a nice stretch. A little lower back stretch. It turned into a gorgeous day out here. This boat needs to go away. I need to, uh, I need to start. This is it for you. That's the plate. It's pretty good. Cheese.
next fish, please. I can't imagine a straight bird fight. I mean, that would be. I can. Just letting me get some, some line in. All right. Uh, not yet. All right, give it. Give it some. It also makes it very nice since they call it day out here to like, uh, like it's in the lab to try to play. Like you're doing like the key variations in the dog. minutes in on the fight right now where I clock playing. Just keeping it pinwheeling him up and he's uh he's pulled some line back but we're just keeping after it. a casting distance right now. Like this is about where my spool is whenever I cast. You think so? Yeah. I'm very glad I did not hook that fish. Yeah, if we were, you guys are doubled up right now. I don't, I don't, I don't know if I can do it. Quite literally. Mm. This I, is my, this is my Yamaga Blanks Blue Sniper 818. And uh, we've said it a couple times before, but this is what, these Japanese blanks are really designed to do right here. It allows, it gives you a better an advantage as the angler to be able to high stick your high rod. Stick. Yeah, high stick in quotations. Which technically there isn't a rod on this planet that won't break, but these are a lot less liable to break than your standard. The blanks are designed to be high stick so you can have angler relief. Obviously, you saw my fish. He's like uh, on the surface. Yeah. He's, he's, got, to, he's got to scream to him. Oh! Stop, stop. I think I just pulled up. Good fight, bro. Good fight. You can't do anything about that. You can't do anything about that. Doing good. Look at that. Destroyed it, bro. You can see. You can see where he had it in his mouth too. Right there. So you had him hooked good and everything. Maybe it was just the back hook. That was all they hooked. And sometimes they stick. Sometimes they don't. Get yourself some water and some food, bro. We'll go back after it. Good fight, man. Good fight. A yellowfin is chasing it? There was a, a yellowfin 100% blew up on Don. So. I, just, I just saw it. I'm just saying, like. Pitch out there, pitch no, out there. That's a keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. No. So Blaine just pulled hook on this fish. But we just had a school of bobo and some yellowfin tuna. Yeah, screens screens lit up. They'll swim with bigger things. I think mine's getting shark. Yep. I just got shark.
fantastic day out here. Day number one, actually. We're probably gonna make a video tomorrow. We're going out with Chris Gomez at day number two. But as far as today goes, it was an absolute blast. This morning, very thankful that I got that really nice, about 92, 95 pound yellowfin tuna. Super epic fight, super break my back. I almost, almost tapped out. It was, it was heart wrenching for sure. And then speaking of heart wrenching, obviously, Blaine lost the biggest tuna that he's ever had, but I hope you guys enjoyed that front row seat blow up because that was super epic to see. And I'm so glad that we got it on camera because yeah. it was really like a see him throw kind of thing. Really glad we got that. As you can see all around us, there's still blackfin everywhere, but we've yet to find yellowfin tuna. Some of the charter boat guys are, are messing these uh, blackfin tuna up. They're everywhere. They're just, you can hear them. But we have a three hour ride home. So we are gonna go ahead and head home. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We gotta clean this boat up and get the yellowfin out. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Maybe it's day number two coming, hopefully, if we hit them. If we don't hit them, no day two. Yeah. I'll enjoy this one. So <clears throat> thanks guys. You. Oh. I guess it just backlashed a little bit. Thought it like double time. Like that. Careful, guys. He's gone, baby. He's Think, gone. Seemed like a. What it's either, it's either, what? It's either the fish or a shark. Either a black fin, yellow fin, blue fin, or a shark. What's that? Oh! Let's go keep it. looking for it. There we go. Good job, buddy. Keep cranking. Go up. Sure. All right, ready? Switch it out. <coughs> there we go. Crank, man, crank. Come on, there, bro. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. All right, switch out your brother real quick. Switch out. Do the same thing, brother. Put it underneath your other arm now. So switch, switch on. Try it. It's a tuna! Watch out. Yep. Watch out. It's not a tuna. It's a stud, dude! Look at him! All right, I got the rod here. I got the rod Bobby, for you. Bobby, you're the right thing. Yeah, step back a little bit. Step back a little bit. Here, I got you. Ready? We did. Lando, good job. Yeah. Is that the same size? Nice. Yeah. Boys! Let's go! Blackfin, man! Well, hey. Blackfin on the JYG Strike 240. Even kids can do it, man. You should too. Hold on, stop. Oops. Come here. Stop. How come every time they touch the rod, it's like it just stops it, it, going. It, it, I, uh, I it stops going nuts. <laughs> yeah. Does anybody see any sign? No. <laughs> you sound like Blaine. Please tell me he's close. <laughs> Did anybody see the tuna? No. Uh, you want to switch out? Here we go, switch out. Yeah, my arm. Oh, you, that's a joke, dude. <laughs> real, real, real. Did he let go? No, no, no he's still okay. No. All right, ready? Reel up. No, no, no I don't. And then feel. crank. One yeah. person, crank. One person. There we go. Pull up, crank. Crank, crank, crank. Pull up, crank. Let's take it again. Swim baits for tunas. Okay. Not very big. 